welcome. My name is Stefan Eriksson, and today we're going to be examining data in Stata. So I'm going to be showing you some basics commands, how you can examine your data and see what you're actually dealing with, okay? So what we're going to first do is to import an example data set from which you can test on and practice with before you use your actual data. Stata has multiple data sets already stored in the program when you install it. And the way you access it is simply just go into File and down in the tab here called Example Datasets. In here, it'll open a new window from which you can click Example Datasets installed with Stata. And then we can simply just try for this video today, use auto.dta. Remember, .dta is the Stata extension for, well, just standard Stata files. If we press Use, it's automatically going to load in the data into Stata. First, let's take a look at what we're dealing with. Over here, you see Again, the list of variables will pop up, show you a quick overview of what is actually in this data set. When you click on a variable, you get the description down here in the properties. You can, of course, also go over here to the data viewer, like we showed in the intro video, and see the list of different variables, and accordingly, also all their observations. We see this data set contains 74 observations. You can do also simply just by scrolling down and checking here, 74. In this data set, we would like to take a quick view of what how price looks or miles per gallon or whatnot looks like. Instead of just going manually over here, we can just generate some quick summary statistics that can help us tell us a little more about what are we actually dealing with. First off, we have the command called list. So if you just type list in your command line followed by the variable name, it will simply print the list of that variable. It's the same as we observe in the browse view. So it doesn't really tell us much that we haven't seen before. The next thing we can do is simply just describe it, right? And that is the command via describe. So we can write describe price. This will give us a description of price, which is not by accident, exactly the same as if we just click over here and get the description down in properties here. So you will see the same information stored in properties here, which will simply just give us, hey, this is what we see, this is an integer, and we see what format it is, and we also see what label it has been given, if any. Furthermore now, we can of course also get some basic summary statistics simply via the command sum. This is just short for summarize. You can of course also write it out, but Stata also allows you to write it in shorthand notation like this. So sum price will give us some basic summary statistics, number of observations, the mean, the standard deviation, minimum, and maximum. You can of course also get further information by using one of the options here, comma detail, or just comma D for short. Here it will give a detailed description of what is hidden in price. And of course you can also do this for miles per gallon if you wish, right? So get a detailed description of miles per gallon, which next to the ordinary information you had before also shows you the skewness, kurtosis, and also a lot of the percentiles as well. Finally, one more I would like to show you for this intro video here today is tabulate. And it's one of my favorite commands actually, because I use that one the most to get a quick overview of how is the data actually distributed. Distributed. So I can do this. So we can tabulate price and get the distribution of price here. We simply get sort of a frequency, right? So we see for what price, how many observations are there for each individual price. And we actually see here for the 74 observations, they all have a different price. We see what percentage, and it also gives you a cumulative percentage over here. We can, of course, also make what is called a two-way tabulation, so move it into a two-dimensional space. So we can, of course, tabulate price against, for instance, foreign. We know that one of the variables in the data set is called foreign. We can also see it over in the list over here, which is a dummy variable showing one if the car is foreign and zero if domestic. If I would press this here, we get it sorted across both these two variables. So you see we have the price and the car type, whether it's domestic or foreign, and thereby getting a quick overview of how we can see, well, what is hidden in our data set. It even shows us how many. And you can, of course, also just tabulate foreign alone just to see, well, how does it actually looks like? And you see it directly corresponds to here. This here shows how you can get a quick overview of your data. Of course, there's many other ways to do it, but this is the simplest way to just get started. I hope this was useful, and my name is Stefan Eriksson, and until next time.